My family is Italian American, and so I was torn always like growing up into like music and BMXing and skateboarding, and then also like the Italian American, you know, heritage and my family stuff. And then as I got older, I started to get more and more interested in like the family stuff and cooking. And it just started, I think I started really becoming obsessed with like baking around 15, you know? And my grandmother was a big influence and stuff. My philosophy on the business is probably the same as my philosophy in life, which is I, I don't really compromise, you know? And I feel like if I start to go off my course for whatever reasons, money or this or that, it usually doesn't make me feel good. So I can't stay off it too far. So I always come back to the center and stay. Pizza is probably one of the foods that has the most uh, opinions about it. If not only making you feel good, I think pizza is something, whether you're in Italy and you speak to like somebody in the north of Italy, compared to the pizza in the south of Italy, or beyond that, even if you're in Naples and you talk like we were just there, and if you talk to like, you know, somebody who lives in this neighborhood or lives in that neighborhood, people have really strong opinions about pizza and in America also, especially like on the East Coast where there's more of a Southern Italian tradition. I mean, people really have like this idea of what pizza should be, what's the best pizza, what's their favorite place to go. There's a part of me where I think, oh, this is better than anybody else's, but then I'm pretty much unhappy with, with everything I make, so it's kind of a balancing act. There's moments when it looks beautiful or when it tastes great that I'm like, oh my God, that is exactly what I want, and it will be one pizza, and then there's 10 that don't come out like that, you know? It's such a, a moment to make it come out like that because the oven is constantly fluctuating, the dough is raising, you know, there's just so many things that play into it. So that moment when it can be perfect is almost like, I almost don't know why, you know, why it's like that. And then the next one isn't. So there might be like 15 minutes out of the five hours that we're open when the dough is exactly perfectly ready to be baked, you know, and maybe that 15 minutes, there's no customers, so I don't bake it. And then when I go to bake it, it passed at the point and I'm like, ah. I mean, that's the beauty of, I think, pizza more than any, any other baked product, is that even with bread, it's like when you're a bread baker, there's, you mix the dough, it raises, and you're, you have a baking schedule, so your dough is you know, planned to be baked at this time, and within that time, you sort of know like if it's ready, and then all the loaves are baked off at that moment, and the oven is at the temperature that it should be. This is the beautiful thing, I think, and that keeps me interested in this, is the fact that it's this, constantly changing thing throughout the night and day to day. It keeps you really interested and... With riding a bike or with anything, I mean, if you don't push yourself and expect a lot from yourself, you know, and you get kind of comfortable, I don't know if you can stay at a certain level. As we get older, it's like, you're not getting really better. You're sort of killing yourself to almost maintain as good as you were and not slide too fast the other way. And I think that's like that with all careers in a sense. We've been in business for next year will be the pizzeria has been open for 20 years. It started out as this product with this name and it's been the same for, for those 20 years, hopefully, you know, getting better, but it's been the same idea and the same pursuit. So. I always feel a huge pressure that I want the pizza to be as good as I think it should be when people come in. At least it makes me feel more comfortable and confident and at peace while I'm in here. I know other people that I know that make pizza for a living. The feeling of having a bad night at making pizza and having a bunch of customers in, the feeling is like really, it's pretty bad. You literally feel like, I want to like hide in the kitchen or like hide under the counter. It's just, you feel so like, cause you're so exposed and you're making it and it's going right out to people and they're sitting right there eating it right near you. You know, there's, there's a lot of expectation. I think people like examine the pizza in a serious way. It's like, they're like looking at it and like taking it apart and like smelling it. It creates a lot of pressure to, not to necessarily please them, but to know that I think it's good. Cause then I feel comfortable. I mean, even if you're like a plumber or an auto mechanic, I mean, why wouldn't you want to just be great at it? I mean, it's just a matter of your approach in life. Like, do you want to like strive for excellence and push yourself? Or do you want to just be like, ah, oh, it's good enough. And you know, I think people cover up 
pushing for excellence with other things, and it sort of seems like it's excellent. I think this is a world that really celebrates mediocrity, that's masked as something better. Do it for the right reasons, like because it's you're you know you're pushing yourself for doing something great based on the truth. For for me in this place, definitely that's the only reason. Honestly, is for us, for me, and for my family that it's great and that we feel proud of what we're doing, and that's it. And then we're you know all these other things that come along the way are unexpected bonuses and make you feel good and you know a pat on the back feels good here and there you know